Wow. Is that campaign a campaign against the white man or is it a campaign? It's a truth campaign. It's a truth campaign. Because so, all so what we're saying and all the different Bible, I know, I know Joe have to go to the Bible reference for that because all of what we're saying, um, these same issues have been experienced to the very world that we are referring to. Other people there are not... Not there. everybody. Not everybody. <laughs> everybody is not suffering the way you are suffering. Everybody was not sending to the curses that you were sent unto. <laughs> Do you have the people that went into chattel slavery? No. No. Those people were indentured servitude. They got land from that. They got land. They got money. They got they, they have resources right now. Look at those people in Israel right now. Or do you think that those are the Israelites? They're killing people every day. Right. They're killing babies every day. Right. Those are the people, those are God's chosen people? No way. Absolutely not. God said that He's gonna give us that land back. You can't take that land. God is gonna take that land from them too. That is not God's chosen people. Matter of fact, we'll get that too. Read that. The book of Psalm, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The truth campaign. God's laws. God's laws. is the, This is what we stand for. This is the campaign that we stand for. The truth. And, and you said something in, in Lamentations chapter 5. Yeah. I'm going to get that. Lamentations chapter 5. Start at 1. The book of Lamentations chapter 5 and verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Just remember the, the Deuteronomy mm -hmm. chapter 28. We talked about the curses. Captain Joel just read them to you. Mm -hmm. He said that you will be in one of all things. Read on. Our inheritance is thine to strangers. Our inheritance. This land is our inheritance. Everything in this world is our inheritance. It's turned into who? Strangers. The strangers that's over you right now. The the the, 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 the Lebanese. Lebanese. Yep. The Lebanese the and the Chinese. And the Indians that come here, those are strangers to this land. They have your inheritance. Right. That you turn over your wealth to them. Read on. Our houses to aliens. Those are called aliens. Those are people, those are strangers to this land. Right. They have a better chance of getting a visa and a passport than I do. I have the same blood that you have, but they look at me like I'm a stranger. Me and you have the same bloodline. We both come from the same tribes of Israel, and they look at me like a stranger. A Lebanese person come here, they walk straight to the front of the line, and they already have the passport waiting for them. Me, I have to stand in the back of the line, and they'll call me a foreigner. What is that? Destroy mine. They look at me as I'm a foreigner, and I'm from this land. My forefathers are from this land. Right. I have the same blood you have. I bleed the same blood you bleed. But our people look at me like I'm a foreigner. Read on. We are orphans and fatherless. We are orphans and fatherless because they beat our people and they took our people from this land. We are the orphans now. Read on. Our mothers are as with us. Read. We have drunk our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. That's what we read in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now you're buying your own resources back. Right, right, They right. sell you back your water. The rubber. They sell you back your rubber. They sell you back your wood. That's your resources. And they sell it back to you wholesale. Our rocks. Yeah, you got to go, you got to go and, and buy rocks. They free in your land. And yeah. you got to buy back your own resources. That makes absolutely no common sense in your own land. You have nothing. Yep. This is your land. And Cap, you know what they'll do too? They'll take the resources from the country and then they'll package it in a, in a bag. <laughs> I saw it and then they bring it back to the people. They, I saw they, it. they make you mine it. They make you pick it. They make you cut it down. Take it out the country. Bring it back. Bag it up. So and I, bring it right I, back. I, I, I think I think the shifting of blame here is, is that blame? I, 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 is that shifting the blame? I, I, see I just I just I, I explain your resources. Cabo, how how him let's, talk? Let's, let's, Jay, you you I, live I, here. I, I, I no 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 no. I don't even talk low base. I, I want to see. And tatas tatas watch this right. Yeah. A lot of the tires we use for our car, mm -hmm. you are aware mm -hmm. those are used tires. Yeah. And we produce the robbers in Liberia. So then we go back to the book of Proverbs that says when the, when the people lack vision, the country perish. Is it that we lack in vision? Because everything we look at is saying... It's not vision that you lack. You lack God. You it's, lack his laws. You lack his laws. 
You 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 want white Jesus to, to govern you. You want the, the, the person that's over you right now is the same people that was over you in slavery. That's what you have. You have plantation overs over you. That's why you're suffering right don't now. Don't go to the book of prayer. Oh man. <laughs> he said, "I don't want that. That's too much." Hey, hey, we want you guys go and we'll go to where you was. You talking the book about. of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse fifteen. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. You see that we don't want to keep God's laws. That's what the curse before us today. See all these curses, come on. Shall come upon thee. See that shall come upon you, come on. And overtake thee. And overtake us as a people. Overtake us as a people. Read verse 33. Verse 33. The fruits of the land. Because we didn't keep God's laws. They are natural resources. That's the fruit of our lands. Come on. And all the labors. All our labors. Come on. Shall a nation. Shall a nation. The U.S. The other nations. Come on. We don't know us not. What are they going to do to it? Eat up. They're going to do what? Eat up. They're going to do what? Eat yeah. up. They're going to eat everything up. And the people oppressed. Come on. And, thou and the people in Liberia. Come on. Shall be only. They shall be only what? Oppressed. Or what? Oppressed to be oppressed and what and crushed. and crushed to the ground. Come on, always, always. That's what happening. It never stop. Why we don't want to come to the right way? It said, This is the way. Walk ye in it. it. Take cause, take cause. I want to hear what it was. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Yeah, why you give, give me, give me Proverbs 14 me, 12. Me, yeah, we hold Proverbs 14 12 right there. Let me take call on this particular subject matter. Good All right. Okay, this person seemed not to be ready. You ready? What? One five, one five, zero six, one five, one five. Of course, we're discussing the Bible. We're discussing uh, emancipating the country from mental slavery. We're looking. At we're the trying reality. to take the chains off your head. You ready? What? One five, one five, zero six, one five, one five. But just go to uh, the the reference given you. Let's get that while we are with the call to come. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter fourteen, and verse twelve. There is a way we seem a right unto a man. Because what you're doing, Liberia, it seems right to you. It feels right to you because you've been doing it for so long. Because you've been indoctrinated by it. They gave this to you when they set these plantations up here. When they sent the slaves back to Liberia, they said, this is the doctrine that you're going to follow. This is the same doctrine that they had when we was on plantations in America. The same plantations in America was the same plantations they established here. The same ones. That's why you have the same mindset that we had in America. We're still fighting the same fight. That's why we're the same people. It's the same mental slavery. That's why we can have the same conversation no matter where we go because our people are oppressed everywhere we go. Right. Read on. But the end thereof are the ways of death. If you do not turn away from your evil ways, God says that the, those ways are death to you. The only way to God is keeping his commandments in the faith of Jesus Christ. That's, That's the only way. That is the only way, Liberia. Turn from your evil ways. Hey, give me James 2 and verse 6 real quick. Yeah, and so while we're going through the uh, different references of the Bible, you can make a call on 0-8-1-5-1-5-0-8-6-1-5-1-5. Add the numbers to call to make your input. Maybe we've not touched on other issues that you want to understand. They are here, and of course, they're going to answer you. And so you get the send in your call as we move through. Go ahead with the reference. Come on. The book of James, chapter 2, verse 6. Read. But ye have despised the poor. Uh -huh. Do not rich men oppress you? That's the question. Do not rich men oppress Liberia? I want you to answer, Chief. I think Liberia is a sovereign state. I think Liberia is a sovereign state and should be able to manage her own. No, 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 but according to Liberia history, do not reach men oppress Liberia. Let me take this call. While we oh, go. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, my question is that I think. Chief, 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 you gotta move away a little bit because you come in this hotel. Uh, what I would like me is that the kind of a leader with Bishop, in the Bishop, Bishop, that will reach something on the coast of Liberia. Liberia, uh, 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 having a concession with a banker, with over 100 for them years, even our not born, they were not born, and that, that doctor has not been able to change, I think. You have the national conversation or a national conference and, and, and so the American company like in Liberia to set up what is the 
Brothers, right? Spirituality is equally applied proportionally to physicality in terms yeah. of decision making. But let's go back to you. You were making a yeah. point. Yeah. That brother's right. That brother's right. He said before we were even born, right? Mm -hmm. But but before he was even born, we're reading around in Deuteronomy. Before before there was a Liberia, we're reading about the curses that you would be under before breaking God's laws. We're reading about God telling you if you do not turn from your evil ways. What's going to happen to you? So long after we're gone, the person that called and us, if we do not turn our ways back to God, it doesn't matter what you say. We're telling you what's going to happen. We're prophesying unto you because it's already written. That's it. Hey, read Job 8 and verse 8 real quick. Let me show you something. Because he said this stuff happened a long time ago when we wasn't born. He himself wasn't born. Well, what did the Bible say? Good morning. Okay. You're going to take the ticket? Yes, sir. John B. Marba. Marba, John, go ahead quickly. Thank you. You know, for me, I I want to sometimes disagree with the brothers in the studio saying that America and all have to make that view of where they are today. Because if you talk about development and, and you want to lay some quotation from the Bible, I will tell you which one of the the, the the Bible or the Quran that says that before you can do this, these are the things that you can do, that's the only way your country will be developed. The only way a country can be developed when the people in that country mindset for complete development. Talk about Bible or Quran. No, no, no. John, John. Yeah. <laughs> they are principal to life. In terms of how you apply it, even in the Bible, there are principles. That's the principles. Problem, right there. Yeah. That, that's so when you fall short of applying the principle, of course, the consequences there are you experience. Right. You can never live a life without the Bible. Yes, but if you talk about de uh, complete development, developing culture, then you want to bring Bible or they use the Bible to oppress us. So you talk about right. Bible, <laughs> talk about. So the Bible talks about they talk about uh, uh, sincerity, and and the Quran also talk about sincerity. When you are sincere, you can carry on development. But here, much you are not sincere, you are not carry on development. But so, in our in our generation, we lack sincerity. So at the end, so you come back to the Bible now, John. Tell me, so you come back to the Bible. Full circle. That's why the the, the <laughs> legendary Bob Marley said, "Man to man, they are even new." To each other. So, what you say in essence is that the Bible principle should be followed. That's the essence. That's it. That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. It's that easy. We cannot escape the Bible. The Bible yeah, is the principle. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, but you see, but you see in how how it comes full circle. Mm -hmm. His argument started basically saying we shouldn't do it, and came right back to how we have to do it. It it, it doesn't make any sense, Liberia. Listen, you cannot fight against the word of God. You cannot fight. A, 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 this is already written what's going to wind up happening. Right. If you do not change your ways, it's already written, Liberia. You have to change your ways. Come back to God. Hey, read, read that. The book of Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. Come on. For inquire, I pray thee, Come on. of the former age. That's what we should be doing in Liberia, inquiring of the former age. The things that happen in this Bible from Genesis to Revelation and those history that also that happened on earth here that from uh, the, the birth of Liberia to present day we have to inquire of the former age come on and prepare yourself and prepare yourself come on to the search of their fathers prepare yourself to the search of your fathers who you are what is required of me as a as a as a person what can I do to inherit the kingdom of God those things we have to think about those are the, the questions and those are the uh, the matter that need to be in our mind. Not living a life with a flesh, living a, 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 a fornication, a fornicator lifestyle, living an adultery lifestyle, living a drunken lifestyle. You want to be drunk all the time. We shouldn't be doing that at all. 
And even for uh, for leaders, a leader needs to be righteous in the sight of God to be able to lead his people. That's, That's right. what in Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1, the Bible said, gather yourself together. How can you be united as one? You got to have the same mind. You can have a group of people, but if one belief, you can rip women. If one belief, oh, uh, uh, a rock is the way you got to worship a rock. If one believe there is no God, you can never unite. There's right. nothing you to stand can, on. You can never unite. You got to unite as so, as so, uh, who we are according to the Bible. We are the sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. We lost our heritage. That's why we call ourselves all sort of names. Like Liberian. That's not a biblical name. Like uh, 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 Morovio. That's a slave man name. A slave master name. James Moro. You are still... A Liberia is a testimony that this place is a slave land. That's what it is. Now give me Proverbs 29, read verse 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Uh -huh. When the righteous are in authority. When the righteous are in authority, come on. The people rejoice. The people rejoice. Because a righteous man fear God. A righteous man will lead his people to God. A righteous man will tell your people, do not sin. Do not uh, do not uh, uh, be having sex before marriage. You should uh, keep God's Sabbath day holy, which is a Saturday. Uh, a righteous man going to show his people how to get to the kingdom of heaven. Sincerity uh, as well. Uh, right, sincerity. A righteous man won't be stealing and sending all his children abroad and continue to steal their money and put in his bank account and the country leave in destitute. And sell the country. They come to Mama Point Hotel. They make deal with the uh, with the uh, the Europeans. They make deal with the uh, the Lebanese. They right. sell the country in there. And then when they come outside, the people stay poor. We see them come there with a suit and tie all the time. They come in there, and they're selling the country, making that crappy deal. And then the IMF, for the IMF do make, make, the, right make the daughter a, a, hey, you a, know a, a jerk. Titus, you know that's true. You know it's true. You know it's true, Titus. It's a fact. services to be provided we have we do not have it but i think development starts with the mind and when you have a country and i know joe you go to the bible reference but this country was birthed in the church and we're talking about the bible the 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 constitution of the church why is it that the principle of the bible is not continually followed by Liberia when you have a country that is birthed in the church i will tell you hey. something like America was funded by the church, right? They went over there, the Native American was there, they killed the Native American and built a church right on top of their graveyard. Right. It's still to this very day, and you and you celebrate Thanksgiving every every year. Because of the death of the people that they kill. And then America said uh Liberia is America colony, right? So if America, the father of Liberia is a crooked and deceitful person, what are they gonna give us? Are they gonna give us anything good? They're gonna give us Christian. Christianity. God didn't give us others' religion. God gave us laws to and keep. commandments. When the, the Jezreel priests came here, they bring cross. They what? They say, slave, obey your master. They lied to us. And they lied. They said things that wasn't even in the Bible to deceive us. Right. So they didn't give you the pure water. They didn't give you the pure understanding. They give you lies. That's why you see people in the church jumping. Oh, I got a Holy Ghost. No, you don't got a Holy Ghost. You, you got, got the, the devil you on got you. got the devil on right. you. Right. And the scripture says in Psalm chapter 11, verse 3, by when the foundation be forsaken, what can the righteous do? Mm -hmm. So the foundation of Liberia was built on Christianity, which is the wrong principle. That is the white man's religion on white Jesus. And guess what? Jesus is not white. Jesus is black according to the Bible. That is one reason why we as black people are Liberian, so to hey, speak, get, get ourselves. Get that. Right. get that. Get that real quick. Get that because we, 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 can't, end, we can't end the show mm -hmm. without showing Liberia your king of kings looks just like you. That's right. it. That's it. Let's, let's go to the scriptural reference. We have to tell it to you, Liberia. We have to tell you, your king looks just like you. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. For those that have never heard us speak before, 
We are revealing Christ to you for the very first time. Some of your eyes are going to be sore after we show this to you. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Read. Verse 14. His head. No, it says right. Right in the book. Read verse 10. 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So he, John, John is talking and John, is, he's, he's giving you a revelation that he's, he's seeing and he's hearing. This is not something, this is not a dream. He's hearing and he's seeing. Read. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. When you see this, write it in a book because in future tense, it's going to happen that a man is going to deceive you into believing that a blonde hair and blue eyed man with pink skin that could never have lived in Africa and the, uh, in, in lived in Egypt for all those years and lived in Jerusalem for all those years without being toasted, without being burned to death in cancer, could have been your king. It's impossible. Read on. Restore. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and gilded by the pots with a golden gizzard. So he's even describing the garment that he has on. Read on. And his head and his head were white like wool. So when our hair gets white and woolly, what is that? A sign of wisdom, a sign of age. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, not talking about he's shooting laser beams at his eyes. Remember, his first miracle was to do what? He turned water into wine. When we drink wine, our, turns, our eyes turn red. I'm looking at the Liberians now. Your eyes are a little darker than my eyes. It's not hard to believe that his eyes were red. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, Liberia? Brass is brown. Everybody knows what color brass is. It is not Caucasian pink. That's not hard to be understood. Read on. As if the burn in a furnace. Not only was it brown, but it was so dark, it looked like it was burned in a furnace. Ash. Read on. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Meaning that he didn't speak milly mouth. He was not a meek man. He spoke boisterous. It's crazy. And, and let so, me, so let me just give time. Time is against. So let me just give you one minute, starting from with, uh, you, and then we come to Joe, and then uh, cap be the last. And you know, you know, you know the, the reason why people in Liberia reject the, the the true image of Jesus Christ. You remember what? Fe oh, Hera. Hera said, "This is your king, Israel, and that king was a black man." What did we say? We say we, we don't have no king. We have no king. We have no king. This is the same people. That, that's here today. That's when we show them the true de depiction of Jesus Christ as a black man. You know what I say? No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not a real. It's, it's not a real Christ. It's not a real Christ. So it's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. That's what Second Corinthians four and verse three say. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's right. So if you can't get this, that means you get the are gospel lost. Thank you. Let's get to do. All right. I also want to speak on this just before we leave as it relates to the Christian church in Liberia say we're not on a loss, we honor grace. Bring it up. I'm reading the New Testament, Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. It says, Oh, no man anything but to love one another, like the brother spoke about. Why are we not loving one another? Because right. the laws of God is not kept in Liberia. Right. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, uh -huh. thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not convert. And if any be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's, 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 that's it. That's it. Let's get, let's get the copy. Hey, all praise to the Most High. Thank you, Liberia. Thank you, Liberia. Thank you, Liberia. We have a school. We have a school here in Liberia. We are located at Jamaica Road around the Boswell School. And we worship on the Sabbath, which is Saturday. We are open at 8 a.m. in the morning, but the general service starts at 2 p.m. You want numbers to call, you can call 0778-072-726-086-267527. Okay, the folks that just hit this morning, 
And of course, we have to go home, man. It was a hectic discussion, but again, put the laws first, and then all other things. Because the Bible said, seek ye the kingdom of Christ, and then all other things will be added unto you. The fact That's that right. you seek the law, of course, everything will be added. I mean, keeping his laws. On that note, my name is Status Emmanuel. Keep his laws. Bye bye. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.